All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is your boy, A.A. Ron, and we're doing another Y video. And there's also going to be a lot of noise in the background, so don't pay attention to the background noise. It's not my fault, I swear. Tonight's wine is a Chevalier Crozet Hermitage. It's a blend. 2012, by the way. Uh, let's see. 13 and a half. It is from the... Rhone Valley of La France. Apparently it's imported in Illinois. So we have not very much here to work with. Oh my gosh, my chair. I literally just sent my butt flying almost. This is also very, very magnified. No, I did not magnify it on purpose. So, to the color, shall we go? Why does that kind of look like magenta on the uh, rim? Kind of does. Don't it? Yeah, it's like magenta on the rim and. Oh, Lord. Ooh, uh oh, red. Yeah, it's more like a red on the uh, core here. I know it looks like magenta all throughout here, but it's actually. Can I can I do bird's eye view here? Maybe. Birds have you this? Not really. Yeah, not really. Yep. You'll just have to go with me here. I wonder if my lighting's all messed up. That might be an issue, too. All right, everybody. Time for the nose. Interesting. There's something there. You don't really get the vibrant, dark grapefruit. Dark berry flavor. Not flavor. Nose. What am I talking about? I'm completely distracted. I apologize. I am not picking up this uh, nose really well, guys. There's... I know... I don't know how to describe it, honestly. Uh, let's see if I get a taste and get a better idea of it. Medium acidity, low medium tannin, smooth finish. It's kind of like a vanilla, the hint of a cocoa bean, maybe a little bit of coffee, perhaps. Maybe it's not cocoa. Maybe it's more coffee with vanilla on the uh, palate. It's a good wine. It's just hard to describe. You don't really pick up on the dark berry flavors at all. There's a lot more secondary aging in here. Of course, it's eight years old, so you're getting into the secondary fermentation that occurs in the bottle, the aging. It's very much so. Yeah, it's like this vanilla kind of earthiness. Maybe I just need to aerate a billion times. I mean, I just opened the bottle. Yeah, kind of vanilla earthiness. Not too much of a dark berry fruitiness. There's a little hint of it, but it's not really there. It's not what most wines we've tasted of the palate and then the finish. Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, definitely a vanilla. Maybe a hint of coffee. I guess just a small hint of that dark fruitiness. It's very interesting. 
It's a very smooth wine. I recommend this to somebody who's new to wine, new to French wine specifically. It's not even high tannin. It's, it's very interesting. There's like, I would honestly say that's almost low tannin. I mean, it's medium to me. It does dry in your mouth, but it's like low medium. It's, it's interesting. It is. It's very interesting. I'm going to be curious if this holds up with my steak wine, but I know you guys are all here for the daily Christmas song parody. That is not done daily. I don't do anything daily. Mm -hmm. So, ladies and gentlemen, as we randomly stare at the wall for no reason, and my hand, get my hand out of the way. Thank you. We are going to perform probably the most disgusting song of the entirety of the world. Mm -hmm. You're a mean one. Mr. Colin, you disgusting, vile fiend. What has your master fed you? What has gone into your soul, Mr. Colin? Does your master know how to stay healthy during a global pandemic? I'll take that as a no. You are so stenchy, Mr. Colin. You just cleared out the entire room. Now no one wants to go anywhere near your master now, Mr. Colin. Why do you erupt at the absolute worst times possible? <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. You are a monster, Mr. Colin. You put even dragons to shame. Their breath cannot compare to the horrors you unleash, Mr. Colin. When will you tell your master to eat more fruits and vegetables? <laughs> I guess I'll never learn. You are a foul one, Mr. Colin. You destroy too many toilets. And the foul air left in the bathroom was much worse, Mr. Colin. Is your master aware of something called a GI doctor? <laughs> Tell him to get over Dr. Phobia. What have you done, Mr. Colin? You have ruined Christmas dinner. You have at least such a blast that your master was expelled, Mr. Colin. Do you have anything to say for your master having to leave his family on Christmas? <laughs> How can you regret nothing? <laughs> Yeah, that was it. <sighs> You're a mean one, Mr. Colin. Our 2020 remix. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I apologize for any background noise, especially in the last part of that there. But if you did enjoy it and you need a uh, French wine, there you go. It's from Frank's Wine and Spirits. Not telling you where Frank's Wine and Spirits is. You'll have to find them yourself. Frankie is just Frankie. Good night, everybody.